to rewrite history Cause I'm in the mood to Label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school This ain't for the radio Can't find this on YouTube This the type of killing that these critics ain't used to Victorious 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 Victorious. How's it going? Ooh, good. How you guys doing? Good. <laughs> no, I like that. It's raw. What are we doing today? So, Allison's hit a little bit of a plateau with the whole aesthetic season. So, we're gonna add in some uh, some sprints. Spoke to Amanda, who is my nutrition coach, and uh, she suggested it. So then, I hit up Brian Borstein, who is. I uh, doing all my programming and he suggested some workouts so I grabbed a couple of buddies <laughs> we hopped a fence and we're at one of the local high school tracks today breaking the law right. in the name of fitness yep victorious 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 in this day and age, I got time for innovation. Time to be creative. Time too big to waste. So my time on critics hating. Flattered by your opinions. This show you out just embracing. Now watch a worldly sunrise up. No daylight savings go nuts when I have to. Glaze built my sound in this beast on the house that we dreaming. Watch me way back up in there. So, the last video people will have seen is the one where you just kind of gave me a little bit of an update on Jason's porch. Yeah. How's things been going since then? Have you been playing around with your food? Any yeah. like changes that you've seen? Yeah, so we uh, we did a insulin reset with some uh, high protein, high fat, low carb, which was real successful. Awesome. Um, noticed a big difference in my uh, fasted glucose in the morning. Uh, I was on that for about 10 days, two weeks, and then uh, went back to more of a normal prescription, albeit a little bit of a calorie deficit wasn't seeing a ton of results on that so um, Amanda had me on training and non-training macros but I was training six days a week so we've now got five uh, regular days and two low days and those can fall regardless of I'm training or not so today's actually a low carb day um, and it's pretty low people 110 Ooh. grams of carbs Ooh, that's what I have in my bed and Jerry's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so we'll see, so I'm not expecting to feel great, to be honest, like I'm on pretty low calories as it is, even on my regular days, I'm only getting 140 grams of carbs, so the goal's not performance, it's aesthetics, so on days like this, I'm not expecting to do great, but that's not my ultimate goal, so. Community. <laughs> What's your name and do you like pineapple on your pizza? My name is Kyle McKendrick and pineapple's good on pizza with ham. <laughs> I'll take it. How do you know Allison? I've known Allison for about five years now, four or five years now through CrossFit and being neighbors and through all different kinds of activities. She's also my nutrition coach. I am. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Boom! Boom! Look at that. <laughs> Results speak for themselves. Results. Yeah. So Kyle's currently training for triathlon. So he's a badass crossfitter, but uh, he shifted gears and yeah, we uh, he competed at Waterpalooza. I had you at Waterpalooza. We were close to like 450 carbs. And Damn. Dropped it down. I was about 195 and. And I'm about 176. Yeah. So 20 pounds. I mean, you got to be able to run and swim and bike, right? So that endurance training and the nutrition has just helped keep me fueled and ready to, you know, crush workout days and make sure I get ample nutrition on rest days. And, uh, would you say your nutrition is from from when you were doing CrossFit to what it is now you're doing your triathlon stuff? Um. Well, we decreased the carbs a little bit, right? But we were also going for some some weight loss so total calorie intake decreased a little bit but we just kind of went off feel and we also positioned some things so that on workout days in the morning i was fueled up ready to go and not having any uh panic attacks what, is that? <laughs> what tablets do we have you on none <laughs> noon <laughs> all right game yeah. time next game time. Time. Quiet, we're for no rap, so all of 
you mother can sing to it. I was born to be victorious. Most definitely victorious. I'm destined to be victorious. The world I hate the display to remain glorious. First time on Allison's vlog. First time on the vlog. How's it been with her in in season? Uh, it's good, you know. She's always doing the weighing and measuring stuff. Anyway. David, what have you noticed about since you started weighing and well, measuring a bit more? Well, because I had been off of the weighing and measuring for a while and thought I was still pretty much keeping to what I had, you know, laid out for myself. And then when I really started tracking again, realized my protein had dipped. My carbs had definitely spiked. So trying to get that back under control. Nice. A little, a little more protein in the diet, and I guess I noticed a little difference. Feels, feels better. Good. You guys motivate each other. <laughs> Fit couple. <laughs> right. Crazy. Are you done with that food scale yet? <laughs> <laughs> I know the food scale. <laughs> <laughs> you have that issue too. Yeah. <laughs> Victorious. 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 In this day and age, I got time for innovation. Time to be creative. Time too big to waste. So my time on critics ain't it. Flattered by your opinions to show you I'll just embrace it. Now watch a early sunrise up. No daylight savings go nuts when I have to. Glaze, bet my sound in this beats on the house that we dream.